What is up, guys? Welcome to another Behind the Curve Reacts. As always, if you enjoy the kind of content I'm putting out, feel free to like, comment, subscribe down below, share with your friends, all that good stuff. But today we've got a Patreon request, so huge thank you to my amazing patron, Sarah. And she would like for me to take a look at a number from The Hunchback of Notre Dame. On Patreon, I react to a different full Broadway musical every month, and Hunchback is probably going to win uh, coming up here. So I'm really excited for that, but this is actually going to be from the, uh, what do you call it? From the Disney animated musical. Uh, if you guys have been watching the channel for a while, you know that I didn't really grow up with Disney. Uh, so the vast majority I have not seen. Essentially, other than The Little Mermaid, The Aristocats, and Aladdin Part 2, The Return of Jafar, I pretty much haven't seen anything. Uh, but this is going to be the song Hellfire, which is pretty cool. It's a, it's a pretty metal name for like a 1980s era Disney song, I feel like. Um, so, I, I mean, I'm expecting something fun and I'm expecting something like, maybe not fun so much, but I'm expecting something like energetic or something with a lot of power to it with a name like Hellfire. Uh, but either way, thank you so much, Sarah, for the request and for the patronage and let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, starting out with some light chanting. Maria, you know I am a righteous man. Of my virtue, I am justly proud. Beata Maria, you know I'm so much purer than the common, vulgar, weak, licentious crowd. Then tell me, Maria, why I see her dancing there. Why her smoldering eyes still scorch my soul? I feel her, I see her. The sun caught in her raven hair is blazing in me out of all control. Like fire, hell fire, this fire. The gypsy girl, the witch who set this flame. It's not my fault. If in God's plan, he made the devil so much stronger than a man. Protect me, Maria. Don't let the siren cast her spell. Don't let her fire sear my flesh and bone. Destroy Esmeralda and let her taste the fires of hell. Or else let her be mine and mine alone. Minister Fullo, the gypsy has escaped. What? She's nowhere in the cathedral. She's gone. But how? I... Never mind. Get out, you idiot. I'll find her. I'll find her if I have to burn down all of Paris. Hellfire! Dark fire! Now, gypsy! Oh, wow. 
damn that was that was beautiful like the animation like just the animation style of early disney is is like mind-blowing but how they played with the shadows and like the billowing of the robes and everything like that not to mention all the subtle characteristics of our lead's face oh my god I mean, I really have no idea what this show is about, uh, even after this number. Um, but wow, that was that was impressive. <laughs> um, all right, let's go ahead and get big. So let me just start out by saying that that dude has got an amazing voice, and 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 not just a singing voice, but his acting as well, which you know. A bit of, you know, the emotion is conveyed on the animated character's face, but his emotion while he was singing that, while he was belting that amazing track, that was really good. Uh, and truth be told, if I had just listened to this song and I hadn't watched this or hadn't known it was Disney, I think I probably just would have expected it to be Broadway. Like, everything was so good. The orchestra... Oh, oh my. And it's one of those songs that just builds and builds and builds, too, which I always really love. Uh, and the fire, like going back to the animation style, the uh, the woman dancing in the flames, that was beautiful. That was done better than when they tried it in the Harry Potter movies. That looked terrible. And this was made probably 30 years earlier looked better than it ever did in those flicks so well done disney uh <laughs> and all the hooded figures too like when uh when the the main guy is like running down the corridor and there's all those big huge faceless hooded figures and then they all like essentially like almost like mesh together and they get sucked out of what appears to be the window but then fun perspectives and lightings and it turns out to be the fireplace that the woman was just dancing in like that was that was so well done like early disney an animation like i'll s said it before i'll say it again it's absolutely incredible uh and then when like the ghostly figure of that woman came out of the fireplace and like embraced our lead and then just vanished oh my god that was cool uh, I don't know the name of the actor that played uh, the lead in this, but whoever plays it uh, on Broadway is going to have an awful lot to live up to. Uh, <laughs> but I am glad that this didn't really spoil anything. Like, even watching it, listening to the lyrics, I literally have no better idea as to what Hunchback is about. Uh, I don't even think the Hunchback was in that number. If he was went right over my head uh, <laughs> but yeah that was incredibly entertaining anybody else has any of these classic old disney numbers that you would like for me to react to please pop them down in the comments uh because i would love to take a look otherwise thanks again sarah i really appreciate it and i will see you all in a reaction very soon